movies. It's something we've become spoiled to over the last number of years. And with better camera gear, and with more in-depth video effects, along with the bar of makeup effects being raised higher and higher and higher, it's very interesting to see how these sorts of things play out. What goes into certain makeup effects? How long does it take? What kind of products are used? But outside of random special features on DVDs, a lot of people don't really know how a lot of these effects are done or achieved. So I chose to sat down with Desiree Blystone, who's an independent makeup artist, who's made effects such as the ones you're seeing currently, all from her house using common household items. So I chose to sit down with her to better understand how these effects are achieved. Desiree, how are you? I'm alright, how are you? It depends on the quality and the amount you want. If you want a smaller product, it can be about two to three dollars. If you want a bigger product, it can be probably about thirty to fifty. So this is something people can do for fun. Yes. Uh, scar wax is more for a showing, and gelatin is more moving about. Say the model is moving quite a lot, you need to use gelatin. Say they are just showing off the makeup or playing dead, <laughs> they can use the scar wax. They can take anywhere from about 15 minutes to a few hours. It all depends on where the makeup is placed. If it's on your face or on your hands, you have to be because those parts of your body move quite often. Now if it's on your leg, probably not because your leg doesn't move much. I use multiple colors of cream paints with pore sponges to imitate pores of the skin to create a realistic bruise. I used latex and scar wax and made a crease in the scar wax to create a kind of divot in it and filled it with cream paints. I once again used latex and scar wax and I inserted the poker chip into the scar wax to kind of create the fact that the poker chip had been forcibly inserted into the face. <laughs> <laughs> There's multiple schools for this major, but I will see what the future holds. Would you advise anybody else to pursue a career in this? Definitely. Go for what you want. I don't, I don't know how else to say it, but... <laughs> Thank you very much, Desiree. Thank you.